Today I'm going to change my default jump animation on the players in my game. So you can see that's not the regular jump animation. I thought that would be pretty cool. I did one for idle. I did one for the walk. Why not the jump? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start off with an empty base plate so we don't mess up anything in our game. And we'll go to Avatar, Rig Builder. Now I use R15. So use an R15 rig if that's what you use. If you use R6, use an R6 rig. Man rig. There we go, and we'll bring it on down. Let's bring up our animation editor. Click on your rig. Let's call this jump. All right, in jump, we're gonna hit those three dots right over here, I'm down in the lower left pane. And let's go do set animation priority. I'm gonna make it movement. I'm also going to hit this toggle looping animation. It's not as important on the jump as is it as it is on like the idle or the walk, but it still runs a little bit longer than an instant animation. So let's go to our three dots here. We have our animation priority set. We have loop set. We're going to save it. And we come on over to the dummy. If yours is closed, go ahead and open it up. Anim saves, jump. All right, now we can get started. Let's go ahead and click down here on the animation editor. I'm only going to use one frame. Here's my scrubber bar right here at the zero. I'm going to click on the dummy and I have it in local mode, that little L there. You can do the control L and that'll turn it on from local to global. And that is, that determines the rotation axes. So whether you want it to rotate to the world axes or the, the joint axes on your, on your part. So let's go ahead and do local one, two, three, four, five, uh, maybe what, six or so. I want to try and get them the same on both sides. And maybe like that. I should have done like a Mario one. That's cool too. Yeah, let's see. You know, just go here. One, two, three, four. That'll be good. Yeah, we can make them do like a super fly or something. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's not bad. Maybe, maybe make them a little bit cricket. And then maybe this head this way. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Now I have this set to 15 degree increments. Roblox still doesn't have this updating from the avatar to the model. If you put like 15, it will update, but you'll probably see it as zero as default. That's all right, doesn't make much difference. Maybe I'll change this a little bit too. Yeah. These are different body parts. That's a pretty cool jump. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Hit the three dots, save. Hit the three dots again. Publish to Roblox. Jump, that's fine. Submit. Get this ID right here. Hit those boxes, ID copied. And we'll hit close. Now, don't lose your ID. Go on down to server script service. Hit that little plus sign. Add a script, and on the script, let's go ahead and hit animation, and we'll call this jump. Whoops, jump anim, how's that? And then on the jump anim, let's go to animation ID, and then we'll do a paste. And then hit enter, and you'll get the Roblox asset ID prefix uh, put in there by default, by automate automatically. Let's go to our script and we'll call this um, default anim changes, right? So you can put your walk default in there, your idle, things like that. I'll go ahead and get rid of this down here. There we go. And now we have plenty of space to do some coding. Maybe make this a little bigger so you can see it easier. Let's get rid of our print statement and I'm going to get the game dot players dot player added event 
connect that to an anonymous function. Player will get passed in by default. And then I'll get my player dot character appearance loaded. And just hit this colon connect function. And the char is going to get passed in. The character is going to get passed in. I always call it char. And then I need to get the humanoid from the character. So I'll do local hum equals char colon wait for child humanoid. And let's get the animator from the humanoid. Local animator hum colon wait for child animator. All right, now we're going to do a loop to stop all the animations that are already playing on the character so we can upload it real quick and then it'll reload. So I'll do four, whoops, four. I'm going to use this underscore just to show that I'm not using the, the I, the counter on the variable. So we'll do four I or four underscore and track in pairs. Get the animator colon. I'll do this get playing, oh my gosh, animation tracks. And of course, it doesn't help me with that one. Do, I'm gonna have to make this a little smaller, I think. I'll just move this. There we go. Hit the enter. All right, now we're gonna get the tracks, all the tracks that are in the animator that's in the humanoid. We'll say track and stop. And this number right here is the fade time for the stop. So we'll just make it zero. Uh, let's see. Let's do local. Let's get the animation script on the character, the character for the player. We'll do anim script. And this is right out of Roblox documentation. So if it looks familiar, it is. I do it the same way every time. We'll get the char, the character. Wait for child. And there's a script called animate. All right, and then I'll put a little note here. All player animation, oops, animations go here. So if you were to put an idle in here, a walk in here, it's gonna be just like the jump. All right, so we'll say anim script dot jump lowercase j. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And then on the jump, we have a jump anim. Oh, it's a, yep, jump anim, just like that. And then we're going to get the animation ID. Animation capital I D. And then on our script, right, our default anim changes, we'll do the script colon wait for child. And then whatever you named it. Mine says jump anim. It helped me out right there. I'm gonna move this to the next line. It's getting kind of long. And what we need is the animation ID for that. So we get animation ID. All right, and we're good to go. So if you're curious about this name, let's take a look at that. I'm gonna hit the play button. And we'll go over to the face plate. Oh, it's gonna show up anyway. There we go. Does that work? Oh yeah, that's looking good. Let's take a look at our animations, our default animations. So in the workspace, here is your character. Here's my character, Simtech Gamer 7. Open that up. There's the animate script. Open that up. I'm going to move this a little bit. There's my jump. Notice the cap, uh, the lowercase j. So we open it up, and there's the jump anim. If you're doing idle or you're doing walk, it might look a little different. You're gonna have to do this with R6 is just to make, make sure because there's a little bit of change with the R6 and the R15. So on the animate, on the idle, it's called animation one and animation two, right? You have two different idle animations. So the method for updating the default animation will be the same for all of these. It's just the path is gonna change. So instead of jump and then dot idle or jump animation, you're gonna have idle dot animation one, idle dot animation two. And I have an idle animation video. So I thought that worked out pretty well. I will see you in the next video. Good luck on your jump.